Just like any programming language, JavaScript allows you to do some math using operators. So let's see what we have. Here let's declare two variables. Let's give to each one a value. So x will be 3 and y will be 10. Let's go to the browser. Here we can also access the value of x using console log x. And we have the value of 3. And we can also console log y. And we have the value of 10. Great. Let's go back to the text editor. I will declare result. And here I will do some arithmetic operations using arithmetic operators. The first one we will see is the addition operator. For example, I can do 5 plus 2 and assign the result to my result variable and console log the variable. So we have the result which is 7. 5 plus 2 gives us 7. If you use different values here, you will have a different result. Great. Just like we used values here, we can use these variables, the x and y variables. That's because both are holding numbers. The first one has the value of 3 and the second one has the value of 10. So the result must be 13. Let's go to the browser and great, we have the right value. And now because we're using variables, we can assign to these variables a different value. And the value of the result variable will change. So here, for instance, if I give to x variable, to the x variable a value of 7. So 7 is here plus 10. We must have 17. So let's see the result. Great. And it is working properly. Now let's move to the second operator. The subtraction operator. This is really simple. So using the subtraction operator with these two variables will give us the following result. Because 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. Let's try a different one. Let's try y minus 12. So y has the value of 10. 10 minus 12, the result must be negative 2. And great, it is working properly. The next operator we will see is the multiplication operator. And this is using the star, also called the asterisk. So if we do something like 5 times 3, the result must be 15. So let's see it. Great, we have 15. Let's try something different. Let's try something different. Here may be x times 6. And great, we have the right value. Now, if we do something like this, 5 plus 2 times 7, what is the result? Let's go to the browser, and here we will have 19. Well, that's because just like you've been taught when you were young, you start first with the multiplication. So here we first do 2 times 7. The result will be 14, then we add 5 to it, and it gives us 19. Great. If you want to start with the addition instead of the multiplication, you add parentheses here. And now the result will be different. Let's move to the next operator, the division operator. This is simple. We can try 15 divided by 3 and the result will be 5. We can try this random number by this random number and we still have the right result. If you divide by 0, you will have this infinity value. And of course, we can use variables. So x divided by y, this will give us the following result. Great. Let's move to the next operator, the modulus operator, also called the reminder operator. This operator returns the division reminder. For example, if we do 5, we use the reminder operator, then we add 3. So 5 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And the reminder is 2. And great, it is working properly. Let's try something different. Let's try y with x. So 10 modulus 7. Well, 10 divided by 7 is equal to 1. And the reminder is 3. 
So let's see if our mantle calculation was correct. <laughs> and great, it was correct. <laughs>